Australia's had a renewable energy goal since the late 1990s. The then Prime Minister John Howard hailed it as a way to help cut greenhouse gas emissions. The government will work with the states and territories to set a mandatory target for electricity retailers to source an additional 2% of their electricity from renewable energy sources by the year 2010. Since, there have been tweaks and changes. Now the target is to have 20% of Australia's electricity produced by renewables by 2020. It's in two schemes. The large renewable energy target, that is large-scale projects like hydro, solar and wind farms. And the small renewable energy target, like solar panels on your roof or solar hot water. After the election, the government announced a review of the renewable energy target. Our goal is very simple, to maintain investment certainty, to review the progress and to ensure we can take the pressure off electricity prices. The panel appointed has delivered its report. It's found the scheme is putting downward pressure on wholesale power prices, cutting emissions, creating jobs and is being administered efficiently. Its two key recommendations for the large renewable target are closing the scheme to new entrants or scaling it back to better reflect current energy use. One of the options for the small scheme is to immediately stop all assistance for new household systems. I think it should be scaled back. There's two reasons for that. One is, and the report says this, it's a co costly way to reduce emissions. But secondly, electricity demand hasn't grown at anything like the pace that people expected. We've got to make sure that we can maintain jobs in the renewable energy sector, but also that we can maintain jobs in our manufacturing industries as well. Labor fundamentally believes in the role of renewable energy in this country. I can't believe how the Liberal government's trashing a multi-billion dollar industry which employs thousands of people. The government's yet to reveal its response to the recommendations. That's expected in about a fortnight.